familiar voice echoed through the halls of the little house on Sycamore Lane. Get those crackers off your windowsill, Tommy. They'll attract ants. The little boy was Tommy. The owner of the voice was Tommy's mom. What she said was true, and that's exactly the result Tommy was looking for. Tommy was a boy like any other boy. He liked to run, he liked to play, but most of all, he loved ants. Like many kids, he dreamed of being strong and loved watching great feats of power and strength. But the strongest, most powerful, most amazing feat he'd ever seen was not performed by a powerful circus strongman. The strongest feat Tommy had ever seen with his own two eyes was performed by an incredible, amazing, and completely ordinary ant. When his mom wasn't looking, he would sneak little orange cheese crackers into his room and place them on the window by his bed. And he would watch and wait, sometimes for hours. Then the stillness of the room was interrupted. Through the crack in the window sash of the old house on Sycamore Lane appeared a movement, a slight disturbance, a flash of activity hidden in the shadow. It was bedtime in summer, but in January, Tommy could feel blustery air against his red hair as the cold sounded its wintry whistle. The crack was large enough to allow Old Man Winter into his room, humming his own musical accompaniment. It was plenty big enough for an ant, or two. On this day, there were three. Tommy peeked from under his blanket. He didn't want them to know he was there. He didn't want them to be denied the satisfaction of the hunt. He imagined their conversation. Holy cow, Dave, this is huge. Dave responded with excitement. I told you, Carl, you just didn't believe me. That's why I needed your help. It's like this every time I come here. Little time is wasted with chit chat in Ant World. Tommy sat quietly, mumbling their dialogue to himself like a director watching his own play. The hunters move quickly to their position. Stan, grab that end. On three, fellas. Tommy furrowed his brow, pursed his lips as if he was preparing to join in the effort. Dave shouted the cadence. One, two, three. As the orange snack lifted off the sill, Tommy's breath rushed from his flared nostrils of his freckled nose. What was that, Dave? Stan asked nervously. Dave responded with a grin as he gripped his newly claimed trophy. Relax, rookie. You're in the big leagues now. The triumphant trio whirled across the sill like actors exiting a vaudeville stage. A tiny trail of orange cracker dust marked their path of escape. Tommy's eyes gleamed from under his covers as he watched his plan go off without a hitch. And as his three friends disappeared into their secret window passage, Tommy abruptly pulled the cover from his head. His face beamed with excitement. Wow, I wonder what it's like to be an ant.